okay so hello everyone and welcome to this new video on the channel and in this video i am going to show you how you can create this uh, icon hover effect so as you can see here as soon as i hover onto these uh, social media icons then uh, they are changing and uh, getting their own icon color back uh, from the gray color so i am going to show you how you can create this hover effect in this video today so without any further ado let's get started okay so the editor that i'm uh, using here is uh, vs code that is visual studio code and this is the index.html file and i'm going to go uh, through this file but before that uh, let me show you what all i have uh, in uh, my folder so let me minimize this so here i have this uh, index.html file that i just showed you and then i have a, a js folder in which i have a main.js file and here in this uh, css folder i have my style.css file so in the style.css file i'm going to specify all the uh, styling with which i can get all the icons in the middle of the screen so i'm going to show you that as well so now let's get started with the coding part okay so here i have this uh, index.html file and i have linked my uh, style.css file here in this head section and then in the body i have this uh, division with the class logo uh, which i'm going to specify the properties for in the uh, css file and then i have three img that is uh, the image tags uh, in this uh, division so here first off i have this first image for uh, the facebook icon and as you can see here all the images that i have specified here are the gray ones that is uh, without the color so these are all the images that i have specified for facebook twitter and linkedin and then i have this alt tag and i also have three divisions for uh, the first second and third image as img-1 2 and 3 and then here the next important thing is these two attributes here that is the on mouse over and on mouse out so uh, what these two are going to do is as soon as i hover my mouse onto this uh, image then uh, it is going to invoke this mouse in function which we are going to specify in the js file that is the main.js and there all the magic is going to happen so there this image is going to be replaced with a colored one so we are going to see how we can do that uh, in this video as well so yeah i have specified these two for all the three uh, img tags and as you can see here i also have specified a parameter to this function that is for the first image i have given the parameter one for both mouse in and mouse out and here for the second image that is two and for third image it is three and also as you can see at the bottom i have my uh, script tag where i have given the path for the main.js file okay so that's it for this index.html file now let's start with the css file and before that let's see the output for this okay so as you can see here this is the output that we are getting with just the html file we haven't yet specified anything in the style.css file and in the main.js file so this is the output that we are getting now uh, in the style.css file we are going to specify all the properties and we are going to get these uh, three icons in the middle of this page so now let's get started with that okay so here is our style.css file so first of all we are going to specify the box sizing as border box and then after in the body we are going to set the margin as zero and the padding also as zero and then here in the logo 
that is uh, what we have specified in this div section so we are going to write the css for this so first of all we are going to specify the height as 100 vh and then the display to flex and then we are going to justify the content in the center and we are going to set the align items in uh, the center as well and as soon as i save it is going to automatically refresh this page as i am uh, locally running a, a local server and for that i am using an extension here and let me just show you which extension i am using so it is live server so this is uh, the extension that i'm using so now i'm going to save this so Control s and as you can see here uh, the icons are now in the center of this page and as you can see here uh, i'm hovering my mouse but there is no uh, effect uh, that is being applied so next we are going to do that so now before that we are going to uh, just uh, set a default height and width uh, for these images so let's do that so the width and height are specified to 100 pixels and the margin is 30 pixel and i'm also going to specify the transition uh, as 0.4 seconds so that we get a smooth transition and then using the hover pseudo element uh, we are going to set the width and height to 120 pixels and let's save it and okay so we have a gap between all these uh, three icons and as soon as i hover then uh, they are changing their height and width and it is uh, being done smoothly as we have specified this uh, transition property and as you can see here they are not yet uh, getting their colors so we are going to do that using the javascript so let's move on to the javascript part okay so here is our main.js file and as you can see here i have specified this id so we are going to get these elements using this id so let's specify three variables and we have this three variables that is image underscore one for our first image and then the second image and then the third image okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, specify these two functions that is mouse in and mouse out and as you can see here the mouse in function is for on mouse over that means when we hover our mouse onto uh, any image then this uh, function is going to be executed and when our mouse uh, pointer is out then this uh, function that is mouse out is going to be executed okay so let's start with that so here we are going to first uh, write the mouse in function and as you can see here i have this ele specified between these parentheses so what this will contain is it is going to contain these values that we have specified here that is one for this first image and two for the second and three for this third image and then after we are going to check whether that uh, value is one or it is two or it is three so based on that value we are going to change the attribute value that is the srs attribute that is this uh, attribute so we are going to change the value for this srs to this uh, image the colored image so we can do that using this set attribute uh, method so with this method we can change the value for this src attribute in the image tag and we are going to change the value for this src for this first image so i have this variable name uh, for the first image written here so that means that uh, this is just going to be applied on to this first image 
and if uh, the value that we are getting is 2 then it is going to be applied for the second image and uh, when we get the value 3 then it doesn't match to any of this so it is going to run this else part and it is going to apply uh, it onto this third image so this is uh, our first function now let's run this okay so now i'm going to hover my mouse pointer so as you can see here now this uh, facebook icon is colored and this twitter icon is also now colored and this uh, linkedin is also colored but as you can see they are not uh, going back to the gray image so we have to specify that in our mouse out function so in the mouse out function we are going to specify the opposite for what we have specified here uh, that means we are just going to change the image that we have specified that is uh, from colored image we are going to change them to gray images so everything else is going to be same as you can see here we have just changed uh, the image names from color to gray ones okay now let's save this and here as you can see here now uh, we have that effect so the images are uh, changing from gray to colored when we hover the mouse pointer and when the mouse pointer is out then they are getting back to gray so this is how you can create this uh, hover effect uh, using html css and javascript very easily so that's it for this video and i hope you like this video so if you did then click on that thumbs up button so i upload videos uh, every weekend so if you want to see more of these videos then click on that red subscribe button and subscribe to this channel and check out my other videos also and that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one